August 30th, 2010. This is today's climate change report. Uh, let me begin by talking about the Atlantic current breakdown, the past couple of videos I put out uh, the last two days. Uh, the evidence is building up towards that uh, event actually taking place. Um, I've been following it since uh, late June when the reports first started coming out and uh, they started suppressing this information. I understand the Gulf Loop current has shut down before, uh, but we're beyond the Gulf Loop current now. We are into the Atlantic current and the Nor Norwegian current is gone as well. Uh, we're definitely experiencing weather change since late July. Uh, I can contest that I've been very busy this last month or so. Um, so let's get on with today's reports and uh, let's hope I'm wrong on that. Um, got an update on the volcano in Sumatra, Mount Cinnabon. Uh, the second day of eruptions uh, ongoing. Uh, the volcano was reawakened after 400 years of course. Uh, over 30,000 people have been evacuated so far. Air traffic's been diverted and ash fallout has residents wearing masks of course. Um, so they're still dealing with that. Uh, India is reporting more flash floods. Uh, apparently over 75 millimeters of rain have fallen in over a 24 hour period of time. Uh, again, the firefighters are being used to uh, drain buildings and over 14,000 homes have been damaged so far. Just in this one region area. Uh, the Philippines reporting red tide. Uh, they have a shellfish band and all the fun things that go along with Red Tide. Uh, Satellite Beach, Florida. Apparently there's high surf advisory, rip tides. Uh, one surfer died, so Polly, watch out if you're going surfing. That's going to get pretty extreme out there. Um, and they've rescued over 300 people from uh, the rip current so far. Toronto, Canada is uh, putting out a heat alert until further notice. Apparently their temperatures are going to be running in the 30 degrees Celsius range or better. Um, it's been hot over the weekend and it, and it looks to be ongoing for a little while. So uh, some heat up in Toronto. Uh, nor in Western Africa, in uh, Guinea Basu, massive swarms of locusts are destroying crops and are heading north towards Senegal. Uh, 43 villages have been affected so far. A uh, locust arm is not an uncommon occurrence in Western Africa. I just wanted to put this out here just to uh, accentuate all the crop failures, um, the loss of fish. Um, so definitely we're in for a long winter. You better prepare. We currently have three tropical systems in the Atlantic Ocean. Danielle is still classified as a tropical storm. Earl is now a hurricane at category four. Um, that's all over the news. Everybody's following Earth, uh, Earl, and uh, Fiona has reached tropical storm strength, and she's following right behind Earl. Um, apparently, uh, according to SpaceWeather.com, uh, the Earth is leaving the solar winds from the coronal hole, and uh, that should calm down a little bit as far as the auroras in the northern and southern hemisphere. Um, other than that, that's pretty much what's going on today. And uh, please bear in mind, um, if we do have an ice age on the way due to this Gulf current crisis, uh, or this uh, Atlantic current shutdown, blah, 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 um, this is not Hollywood. I doubt if it's going to be one big superstorm and poof, we're into an ice age. Uh, these things geologically happen rather quickly, but. Uh, a hundred years to a thousand years is rather quickly in geological terms. Uh, I think we're definitely heading towards uh, more severe winters as the years continue and uh, we probably need to take note of that. So again let's hope that I'm wrong about what I'm putting out on um, the Gulf Current and the Atlantic Current shutting down and uh, all the possibilities that might entail. Other than that, um, I'm buying firewood. Have a good one, YouTube.